Good morning all. Here I am on the Hike Micro stand, about to chat to Paul, the uh, business development guy, and about the new products they've got with, here for us. So we've got three products to go through, and uh, let's get recording. Morning Paul, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm really well Mike, thank you. Welcome to the British Youth Show 2024. Excellent. So we're on the Hike Micro stand, and what have you got new for us? Well, we've got three new products that we're really launching at the British Shooting Show. We've got the Hab Rocks, which you can see are very popular, and we've got somebody looking through them now. We've got the Lynx 2.0, and we've got the Alpex 4K. Yeah. And also, so these products which is really exciting. The Stella 2.0 as well. Oh yeah, the Stella. Well, I've I've used the Stella quite extensively for yeah. ratting and stuff. The Stella, that was the Stella 1.0, obviously. And what a, what an awesome thermal scope. So what we. We'll go and have a look at the, the, the 2.0 in a moment or two, but we've improved a lot of things on it. So all the button interface and that is all changed, the 18650 internal battery. I'll, I'll go through it all in a second. Excellent. But yeah, obviously, one of the stars of the show are the Habrox. Right. Uh, these are the new Habrox. These are the uh, HQ uh, 35, 1,000 meter laser range finder, built-in IR that you can have on flood or zoom. Yep. You've got an independent parallax for the daytime and an independent parallax for the thermal image. You've got the usual setup on the top. What's nice about these for us, as you can see, they're the size of a pair of binoculars. Yes, they're compact, and I can see that, and they look light. Yeah, they are a great weight. They weigh slightly less than actually my... I've got a set of cross the else. And they that's 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 brilliant for what for how well equipped they are. That's brilliant. Yeah, and it's got GPS in it. It's got all the stuff that the Raptors had, but more compact, more binocular size, uh, independent focus rings for each eye. You can adjust the diopter oh, size. Hold on, let's show you doing that again. Sorry, mate. Yeah, just the separation. You can adjust the separation to suit eyes. Brilliant. Individual ocular adjustment. It runs off two 18650 batteries. Right, brilliant. So the industry standard. Yeah, 18650s, you can see there. Excellent. You get four with the unit, you get five hour runtime, continual runtime with a set of batteries. Excellent. IP67 waterproof, like all our products. Yeah. Three year warranty, 10 year on the sensor. Brilliant. You've got uh, a built in 64 gig of uh, memory card to record everything, yep. GPS tracking. Did they have that? Did they have that sensor where they're going to stand by when they're near the face? When you drop them down, they really? switch off. When you drop them down, they switch off. When so they come back up, to power save instantly straight back on. Fantastic, love yeah, it. So as soon as you put them in the patch, it switches off. Brilliant. Uh, battery life on that? Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, a long it, time. It, it all depends on how often yeah. you lift them up and pump to your eye. Yeah. But they are going down a storm here at the British. Yeah, I, I'd love to review those. Now that I'm. Uh, Moving to the country, shall we say? Yeah, new place, mate. Perfect. Probably looking forward to it. Perfect. So, yeah, the Hab Rocks look awesome. Uh, what's the RRP on these? Two thousand eight hundred and forty-nine pounds. Two thousand eight hundred and forty-nine. Okay. If you'd have said to me two years ago you could get a daytime night vision thermal binocular with a thousand meter laser rangefinder with everything that we've crammed into there for sub three thousand pounds, I'd have thought you were joking. <laughs> We're doing this, 2,849. Come to the show, guys, because there's deals to be had. Brilliant, uh, brilliant. I reckon we've got four or five retailers here who are supporting us at the show, and there's deals to be done. Brilliant, fantastic. So that is the new Habrox. Really and, excited about them. Yeah, and then I see I see a leaflet here, Stella 2.0. So yeah. you've got. We'll, we'll come to that in a minute. So we're going to go look at the links right now. So this is the new. Thanks, mate. Cheers. The new Lynx 2.0. It's very much similar to the old Lynx. Right. In shape and size. Right. A uh, few major differences. The more pronounced buttons on the top. Right. Sub 20 millikelvin sensor is standard okay. across all our thermals now, whether it's a Habrox, this, the Stella, all sub 20 millikelvin. Brilliant. I'd just like to say as well, last night we were all awarded night vision product of the year over £1,500 for the Condor CQ50. Excellent. So really proud of that. The team have really worked hard. Yeah, so and the Condor was the first sub-20, wasn't sub it? Sub-20, yeah. Yeah. So, so this is new, the Lynx 2.0. What we've changed over the old Lynx is we've now got an 18650 yep. detachable battery inside there. Yep, brilliant. Again, industry you, standard for night vision. Yeah, you get six 
six and a half hours runtime on Whoa. one battery. That's, that's good. You get two with it. And you've got so, a standby mode. Standby mode, all the usual features. Front parallax on this, the Octa is still in the same position, but really nice compact unit, which is very, very popular here at the show. And again, like I keep on saying, what we want to do is give you guys value for money. So value for money without compromising on price. Yeah, so how much is this one? It varies from £1,100 down to £500. All oh, right, so, so across the I'm range. I'm not going to say entry level because it's not. No, it's but not. It's really affordable. A sub 20 millikelvin, it's not entry level. No. no. And you've got great improvements there with the 18650 battery. Um, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Does this does this record audio? And that's a great question. <laughs> Sorry, I should have asked you this beforehand before I started. I will find out. I think it does. Right. I know the Hablox do, I know the, the Skull does. I know a lot of people don't need that, but yeah. I need it for YouTube, so... But yeah, um, I will find out for you, Ross. Brilliant, thank you. No worries, mate. And then we've got... This is a Stella. <laughs> Stella 2.0. So, oh, and I straight away, I see these... Hold on, let me just angle this downwards. I see that those buttons are perfect. They're going to be so easy to tell apart in the dark. That's one thing that we... I mean... This is the thing that I, I, I say all the time about high micro. We listen. Yes. So if you come and suggest things to us, tell yeah. me, tell the guys, the, the retailers you're dealing with, pass it, the information on to me, and we act on it. Really? So there were a lot of people who were having a little bit of issue with switching the unit off at night because yeah. they couldn't feel the buttons, but now much more pronounced. Excellent. That's fantastic. Yeah. We also have changed. Whoops. And I'll just show you here on the side, instead of a CR123 on the top, We've now got an 18650. Right, brilliant. Now, so is that the main power or is no, that backup? It's got an internal uh, pair of lithium batteries that will give you 11 hour runtime. 11 hours. I never ran out with a Stella 1.0. No. Um, and I never needed to use the CR123. Uh, and I can't see to get that back in, Russ. Sorry. Put my glasses on, mate. Sorry, you and me both. There we go. Points are back. Put my glasses on, I did see. Yeah, so, excellent. The 18650. People were saying with the old Alpex and the old Stella, the CR123 that you used to put in the top turret wouldn't start the unit. There wasn't enough power. All right. With this 18650 now, if you forget to charge your, your, your scope, it doesn't matter. Right, okay. That will run for two and a half hours. It will start the unit up. Brilliant. So if you've got a pocket full of 18650s, you can just carry on shooting. And you get two with the unit? You get two with the unit, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, more innovation is the lens cap now folds flat. Right. So the old one used to go to there and people right. used to snap it off. It now right. goes flush. Yeah, how's the objective focus? The objective focus. Major criticism of the, the Mark 1s of the Alpex and Stella. Oh, that's, that looks... That's no right. need for a jog wheel. No need, no for, need for a coaster, sorry. Re brilliant, yeah, so co coasters. Oh, yeah, that's so much smoother. I won't need a coaster with this, but hopefully I'll get to review one of these. Yep, fingers yep, crossed. Mate. Yep. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, you heard it there on camera. Um, so... Yeah, I'm looking forward. So, another innovative thing, where I've just showed you the battery port, yeah. that used to be the menu button. Right. Not any longer, the menu button is now on top. People right. were putting rifles on their side, they were hitting the menu button, and it was changing rifle profiles. Right. Again, so the, we've listened. So the, the jog wheel, click, press, button so is now on top. Everything is controlled through this jog wheel. So you enter the menu by pressing the button down, right. and then go through the menu as you would ordinarily do using the jog wheel and the button excellent but also that is the zoom focus ah right so so, so the zoom has moved from the horizontal wheel to the vertical yeah vertical again turret. this is great so if you're right handed that's fantastic if you're left handed it's fantastic there's awesome. no region over now brilliant so that's so another central. major sub 20 millikelvin sensor excellent uh, retailing at £2,990 deals to be done at the show Deals to be done. 20 minute out. Top end thermal scope. Brilliant. And would it be possible for I could review this sometime soon? I'm sure that the guys, Lena, will certainly sort something out. On Excellent. That thing, Excellent. Fantastic. So that's three three innovations, three new things on the Hike Micro stand. But one of the and most exciting new things for us. Go on. There's more. The, uh, as well as the three that I've showed you, the big star of the show so far is the Alpex 4K. Right, okay, so we've got another one to look at, Alpex yep. 4K. So I'll go over here, without falling over hopefully. 
So this is the Alpex 4K. Uh, daytime, uh, nighttime, low light. As you can see, 18650 battery goes in the side. I'll turn that round. Russ. Right. Okay. Thank so you. 18650. Okay. Again, exactly the same as the Stella 2.0. So the jog wheel is the top one. Uh, jog also. wheel is still the top with the uh, button at the top there, so that is exactly the same as I've just described on the Stella. And pretty much all the same changes. Yeah, all the same improvements. Yeah. So we've got the raised buttons here. Yeah, raised which buttons. Be, yep. Which will uh, be nice, easy to feel. 18650, jog wheel on top, 1,000 metre laser range finder. Right, and that's on screen and on screen. In integrated. Instant button, the button's at the side there. Yeah, and let's just feel this again. Whoops. Oh, I'll just move that lens cap for you. Right, so... Yes, that's. It's not sloppy and it's not tight. It's it's basically that's not going to move when, when I reset it. That's awesome. That's what, so no more no more coasters on no that. No more coasters. Let's have a look at the front of it. Okay. Oh, if, if you can, can you rotate it towards me? Brilliant. So I'm aware if I step back, I'm going to fall off this podium. Awesome. So we've got the LRF. Is it a horizontal or a vertical LRF splash? It's uh, it's a square. It's a little bit right of the reticle. So, oh, right. So it's, oh, it's so okay. So it's a fairly concise. It's very concise, yeah. Oh, so awesome. There's a couple of things uh, also on the Alpex that we've introduced for the first time is our ballistic calculator. Brilliant, yep. So the ballistic calculator, you put all the information in. Uh, I've used the ballistic calculator up in Scotland and I've shot out to 550 yards with great success with the 204. Uh, I've tried it on an air rifle, I've tried it on a 2-2 rimfire, I've tried it on my blackout. The ballistic calculator is absolutely phenomenal. So it does and what it says on the tin then? See? It does what it says on the tin? Absolutely mate, yeah. Awesome. Um, put in your ballistic coefficiency, your muzzle velocity, the height of the scope, uh, and away you go. Brilliant. Absolutely simple to use, really easy, as long as you Brilliant. know your speed of your, your bullet. Yeah. And you know the ballistic coefficiency. Yeah put that data into it and away you go Fantastic. and like I say I'll stretch it out to 550 yards brilliant I'm loving I'm loving again I'm loving the raised buttons uh, improved control another thing as well yeah sorry go on go for it USB port is now there ah so USB port on the right hand side with the rubber flaps this is IP67 is it IP67 yeah excellent so it's still waterproof so the old one you used to have to undo this and leave it dangling. Yes. With that. Oh yeah, I, I remember that. Uh, dangling and jang jangling more than dangling. Yeah. Jangling more than dangling. Yeah. yeah. So that's the Alpex 4K. Uh, awesome. Here on display, we've got three on the stand. So brilliant. Come down and have a look. Excellent. And um, an RRP on this? 849 pounds. Right. 849. Now, obviously, this is a it's a long thing. I think it's from the specs. It's about 17 inches inches long. Um, and uh, is there an IR option? Yeah, you, not with the uh, 4K now. We've stopped doing the IR option. Right, okay. What we found is that, again, we want to give value to the end user. So a lot of guys who are out there shooting, this isn't going to be their first scope. No. It's going to be a replacement for another, maybe another Alpex or or maybe another, another scope that they've got. They've already got an IR. Yeah. I've tested this with everything. As you know, I've got a cupboard full of IRs. Yes. And I go through the whole lot and I test it from the very old dragonflies all the way up to the new. Right. Really. So it works with whether you use an LED IR or Vic or uh, LED. Or laser. Sorry, L Vixel. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use those. Uh, an exciting thing about it, and a lot for you guys who shoot maybe uh, foxes are a little bit IR shy. Right. It also works on 940. Brilliant. So it works on 940. If you've got a 940 laser you will get the same image quality as you would with a 850. Yeah. Well, I remember when same we reviewed the, 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 the Alpex, you know, the A50T, uh, we got, Bruce and I got great results whether we were using LED or or using uh, Vixel IR. Yeah. So, and I, I tried it on 850 and 940 on yeah. both. 940 is amazing. I love using this with the 940 on the racks. Right. I've got it on my FX, well... I don't know if this is mine. If it's got a green sticker on, it's mine. If it's not got a green sticker on, <laughs> but they're my scope, so yeah. Right. But yeah, I love them all. Excellent, excellent. So thank you very much. So we've had the the uh, well, we've, we've we've had the Habrock, we've had the uh, Lynx, we've got the Stella, 
and now the Alpex 4K. That's four impressive bits of kit, and all four of which I'm, uh, I'd love to uh, review at some point. And there, you, there you see the handshake, everyone. Hey, he's he's going to run away now. But um, that's I'll brilliant. Leave that, I'll leave that to head office. So, uh, for yes, you guys. But, yeah, I'll, I'll, no problem. Pleasure, mate. Always a pleasure. Go and speak to the head shed. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Have a great show. You're welcome, mate. Nice Cheers. to see you. Micro stand. We forgot about the cheetah. Okay, Paul, sorry, my, my bad, I nearly forgot. Yeah. So we have the Cheetah. Really exciting news about the Cheetah. Right. So not only have we introduced the new ballistic calculator into the firmware in the new Cheetah, so the LRF will work with the ballistic calculator. Sorry, can you uh, press the one button for a split second there? So you, can you start again with that yeah. sentence? Uh, so the new Cheetah has got uh, not only the new Cheetah, but if you've got an original Cheetah, We've now got the firmware developed so that you can download the ballistic calculator. Excellent. So, really exciting. So, as always with the Cheetah, it's got the built-in IR, the laser range finder. I can see, by the way, that the IR's on right now. There you go. It's automatic. I can see on the uh, from the digital lens. Yeah, you've got a pink glow out of the left-hand yeah. side. So, that's, so the... that's the advantage of doing these demos and shows, is because people touch all the buttons and switch everything on when you don't need them. <laughs> I'll go to the menu in a minute and switch it off. Uh, 18650, as always with the Cheetah. Yep. We've done a price reduction on the Cheetah, so oh, oh. the laser range finder version with the ballistic calculator is now 599. Brilliant. 599 pounds. That's amazing. Yep. For a really lovely compact, lightweight, yep. 460 grams. Right. And it's 18650 battery, isn't it? 18650, yep. Top. IP67. IP67, the usual. The is the focal ring, yeah, it's a little bit. A little gentler now, is it? A little bit easier? Hey, to be honest, we never really had so much of an issue with the Cheetah. I no, not know. as much as the Alpex. No, I wouldn't say issue, but I mean, all of our products have to go through stringent testing for waterproofing. Yeah. You can't put an IP67 rating on something if it's not waterproof. Yeah. And obviously, ingress can occur around the focusing rings. Yeah. So that was the reason that they were quite tight on the original Stellar and the original Alpex. But what we've done, we've improved the fitting mechanism, so it's much more smoother now with right. still that incredibly good IP67 rating. Right, it's brilliant. So I'll get from, whoops, I'll get it around here. From the side, brilliant. Um, so excellent, so we've got all the features. Of, oh, one question. Can you remove the rubber eye cup? Yes. Ah. You can remove all rubber eye cups off any of our products. They all right. just unscrew or just pull off. Brilliant. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't like them. No. Sometimes in the daytime when I'm zeroing uh, a scope and you've got a lot of ambient light, yeah, a rubber eyepiece is, is ideal because it just cuts out all that ambient light. Right. At night time, you've got no ambient light. Yeah. I take them off. Yeah. I, I, I always steam up the eyepiece. I also when I'm think using the rubber eye cups. Eye cups are great, but they don't fit everybody's no. eye relief. Yes. So if I've got a scope up to my eye, I know exactly where I want to be when I'm shooting whichever rifle I'm shooting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of eye cups at night. During the daytime, when you're zeroing, yeah, great. Cuts out all the ambient light. So the new Cheetah 599, ballistic calculator, laser rangefinder, built-in IR. Oh, and is it available 850 and 940, or only 850? Only 850. Right, okay. At the moment. At the moment, okay. So, yeah. so watch this space, type thing, yeah. Yeah, okay. As with everything with Hype Micro, we listen. Yeah, fantastic, so. thank you. Yeah. So and that's the new cheat. Well, it's not a new cheater, it's the original cheater, new price. Right, new price, and you've got the new features of the ballistic calculator. Awesome. Thank you. Th thanks again, Paul. You're welcome, mate, anytime, you know that. Cheers, awesome, thank you.